on guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very exciting video and I'm super hyped to show you. This is a what goes on behind the scenes of how I make a video. So we're going to take, we're, why do I keep saying we're? I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of how I make a video, how I edit it, and how I upload it. Well, not really upload, because I won't be uploading this video. But I've recorded a 30 second clip, it's an example video, and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut the beginning and end. I'm going to cut the gaps in my speech and I'm gonna add background music I'm gonna transcode it I'm gonna add a little end card and everything so that'll be really fun so let's get started all right guys so we have our computer here and the first step that I normally do is I go in to the file folder of the card and I select the file that I want this is the file that I want and I drag it over to my vlog folder so that's going to mean it's on the disk, which is going to be much faster data accessing for the computer and it'll be much easier to edit and it won't take as long, simply. Alright, so once that's done, I'm going to actually delete it off the card because I want to keep my card... Well, this card is not the one I'm using to record, obviously, you wouldn't be seeing this. But I want to keep my cards clean, you know, I don't like files clogging up them. So let's delete those, and after that... I launch Lightworks, so let's get it up, and there we go, so we launch Lightworks. Alright guys, my face is not going to be in much of this because as you know, I have to be uh, near the computer to, behind the computer to use it obviously, which means I'm going to be out of the camera, so you might see my face, but not very much in this video. So what we want to do first is we want to create a new project, so we'll click on that. Then we click, yeah, also these are all my vlogs, so you can see. So we're gonna click, and uh, we're gonna type Dylan Dylan's vlog number. Don't know how I clicked out of it. Um, okay, so we're gonna type Dylan's, I can't even type at this angle, hold on. Vlog. Number nine. All right. Then we want to choose our frame rate. I have the GoPro set to 60 frames per second, so let's choose that. So the max you can go. And we'll click Create. And then it's going to create. Now, once we're in the editor, this may look complicated, but it's not. Trust me. Then we want to click on Local Files. And we want to click... This is all my background music. Um, on the Videos category. And go into Dylan's Vlogs. And then we have the two videos right here. So this is that one, and then this is my Try Not To Laugh. Coming soon, by the way. That is coming soon. Try Not To Laugh at My Sister. So we're going to click that. And that's actually not what we want, so I'm going to go back into the product contents. Project contents. I'm going to click Delete This Clip. And I'm going to click Yes. And we're going to go into Local Files. And then we're going to go down here and select Transcode, because that... Uh, will help the editor run it faster and then we double click it and then we wait for it to transcode it's a 30 second clip so it shouldn't take that long but I'm gonna cut this part out anyways because it's literally just a blue bar moving across the screen so see you on the other side alright guys it is just finishing up here and then it should be done and we can start our editing process well actually there's one more step before we can start that I stand correct alright so our video is imported into the project but we're going to go back to local files, actually, and we're going to go into the documents folder. And then we're going to select a background music that I have downloaded. And yes, that is vlog number nine. Uh, so I'm going to click this one because it's a calm song, you know, it's kind of peaceful. And we don't actually want to transcode that because for songs and audio, it won't actually work. Create link is the one we want. So we double click that and you'll watch. This one's a lot faster because obviously you're not like transcoding it or anything. I'm not quite sure what transcode means, <laughs> sorry, but I know it means, you, I think it transvert, I think it converts the video into a format that the editor can work with better, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But let now we go into log, and for this video, obviously I want to cut out the part where I turn on the camera, right? So what, to do that, we play the video. It is a bit staticky, but what can you expect? This is not the world's most powerful editing machine. So we're gonna. Hello, everyone. 
And we're going to do that, and then we're going to go back a little bit. And then we're going to click right there for an in mark. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the end. And we're going to make sure that the last thing you hear is my voice. Then we want to click an outwork. Then, what we want to do is we want to click insert into the target sequence. What that does is it obviously inserts it into the target sequence. So now you can see we have the editing log up. To add background music, um, so what I'm going to do, normally what I do is I cut the stammers of my sentences out because obviously no one wants to listen to me just go, uh, the whole time. But this video is so short, I don't think it's really going to matter. And to make it a shorter video for you guys and more entertaining, what we're going to do is now we're going to add the background music. So we'll literally just drag and drop this thing in. Okay, for some reason, this editor can be tricky. It can be tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to drag my background. Why is it? Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> um, so as you can see, yeah, it scrolls Hello, over the audio welcome here. Welcome back to another video. Um, so I'll be right back when I find out how to fix this. Alright guys, it's been a while, the video is now 14 minutes long, but I finally figured out that I thought it was cutting, but it's really, my clip is just so short that that's the actual length right there. So, we're obviously going to have to cut this audio. There's no way my end card's going to be, what, 3 minutes long? No. So, before we do that actually, always, every video, I dim the background music because as you can see here, it's so loud that the editor gives a little red line to let you know that it's extremely loud. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to audio. And then these little lines here indicate how many decibels you've boosted or lowered the audio. So we can just literally just drag them up. It's a really, really handy tool. You can just drag the audio lines up. And there you go. Your audio has been boosted. You can go pretty high, too. You can go to like 13 decibels. But I usually go around 9 decibels. And then, obviously, that is way louder than this. You can tell literally just by looking at it. So we're gonna, you can lower it, you can lower audio way more than 13 decibels. So we're gonna lower this by about 27 decibels. And now let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is just an example video that I'm gonna use to edit behind the scenes. Edit behind the scenes. So you guys are likely never gonna hear- Okay, I can't really hear that background music. I don't know about you guys. But I can't hear the background music, so let's raise it up a bit more to about 22. That should be fine. So now, in every video, I always do some color correction. Not much, but I always do some color correction. So, the shadows I usually tone up a bit, because I don't want my videos to be incredibly dark. But, mid-tones I usually tone down, because the GoPro, obviously, isn't very good at adapting to light. And so, bright light patches behind you will make your face a total shadow. At least that's my experience. Don't quote me. Don't quote me on any of this stuff, guys, because I'm still a newbie. I'm still new to editing. Still new to all of this stuff. But I've kind of got Lightworks down, and I wanted to show you what goes into making my videos. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're obviously going to cut this audio. So, I want my end card to be about 10 seconds long, probably. So, that's 30 seconds. We'll cut it to about 41. Right there. So, we'll just put an in mark, and then we'll go all the way to the end of the clip and put an out mark. And then we're gonna click remove the mark section and close the gap. Delete. And boom. Now it's so much longer. Uh, in proportion to the clip, the end card is still really long, but whatever. Um, so now I'm actually gonna go to local files and we're gonna go to... Actually, I'm gonna have to move this. So we're gonna go to downloads. And I made some end card. Alright, so I'm gonna move that to documents. So that's usually where I keep all my stuff. And here we go. End card for vlog. So that's an image. So we're just going to create, click create link for that. We don't need to transcode it. It's literally an image. So then we're going to click on that. And we're going to click project contents. And we're going to literally drag and drop it in. And then boom. That is obviously way too long as you can see. So we're going to click in mark. And then... Actually, we don't even have to do that. We can just click. Okay, so what I do to cut my end cards and any images that I put in the video is I right-click on them. I click Trim Out. And then you literally drag this yellow thing over. Or wait. 
drag these things over. Yep, there you go. And then... Boom. And voila. We're not done yet, though. I usually reboost the audio. So this is really cool because what you can do with this is you can create points in the audio and then you can raise it up from those points. And then you can click another point and it'll only raise it up from the point uh, that you just created. So it's a really handy tool. And yeah, as I said it before, I would recommend Lightworks to anyone that's new to editing because it is really easy. As I, as you guys obviously know, I've only been editing for like four weeks, not even a month. And it's really easy. So I would recommend it to anyone. And then usually at the end of the end card, what I want to do is I want to do a small... I can't talk. Why can I never talk on camera? I want to get a small fade so we'll lower the audio a bit. It's really easy. You literally just drag and drop it. And boom. So I'll put this video in the in this video through editing. I'll insert this in. But that's pretty much all I want to do for this video. We've color corrected it. We've cut it. Obviously for a normal video I'd spend much more time, you know, cutting out all the stammers of my sentences. But this isn't a normal video, so, you know, it's just an example. So, you know. I said you already, but whatever. So now, what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna click, right click on that, and then we're gonna click export, and YouTube, so that'll format it to YouTube. Whatever format YouTube uses, I have no idea. I assume it's like, uh, JPEG or something. So, let's do example video for vlog. It's actually number 10. I forgot about that. Wow, we've got 10 vlogs already in like a month. So we're gonna click that, and it'll be really quick. I don't want to right click, thank you. Let's just click start, and then you'll see it goes across the screen. But that's pretty much all we have to do, and then I upload it to YouTube, I put the songs I used in the description, and I create a thumbnail using Fodor. Photo is an online editor. It's completely free. It's really cool. I'd recommend checking it out if you ever need to make any photos. That's what I made my end card with, and that's what I made all my thumbnails with. Some Microsoft Paint. I usually only do that if I need to draw something, though, as Photo doesn't have a tool for that. But anyways, that's the video, guys. It's 20 minutes long raw file right now, so it's going to take so long to transcode. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and if not, hopefully this video will be video made it better um but remember leave a like if you enjoyed if you really enjoyed and you want to see more hit that subscribe button and make sure to slap the bell right next to it so you get notified when i upload but thanks for watching guys and i'm out i'll see you next time hello everyone and welcome back to another video this is just an example video that i'm going to use to edit behind the scenes so you guys are likely never going to hear this audio but i'm talking anyways um yeah this one short clip, not really much of anything. It's also kind of a stability test for how stable it is walking around with the GoPro. I am trying to stabilize it with my arm too, so. All right, 30 seconds, that's probably good enough. So let's turn this off and I'll see you guys next time.